extends pub the public health emergency, mm -hmm. we're calling on the governor to ensure that no one in Vermont loses their health care or housing, and that the emergency measures are expanded so all in Vermont can enjoy our human right to health care and housing. I'm is there, oh, oh, sorry. Is there a staff person that we could deliver the message to? Uh, Petitions, folks. Are uh, there on these posters right here? Right there. All the signatures. Yep. He's looking up to see if we can speak with anybody in the governor's office right now. You can come through if you want. staff member here at the time folks you can leave those here and i will make sure he gets them but he's not even in the office today okay thanks for 
for checking. So yeah. it seems like we can't speak to anybody in the governor's office. So we'll have to share our stories here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wish I could help you, you know. Thanks. Hey, um, I'm Zach Hughes. Here's a That's all right. Okay. I'm Zach Hughes, um, and I work part-time at Washington County Mental Health Center. Yes, sir. I have uh, been on Medicaid for a long time, and I'm in project-based housing. Um, I always have to calculate uh, when I have to when when I work too much or anything like that. Sometimes, and, and also I am um, calling on the governor and legislature to work on the homelessness issue, as I have for people out on the street, as I've had to send two people south because they had no other alternative but to go south, even though one of them had a full-time job. I'd like to close with, uh, anyone can become homeless. It can happen to anyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think you may be better to leave some of the things because what you're telling me, two hours from now, I may forget. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, that's why we're going to have two more this. stories to we're tell. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sure. So my name is Zoe. I live in Plainfield and have been on Medicaid since I moved to Vermont two years ago. I work two part-time jobs, one of which doesn't offer any benefits, and the other would take over $300 a month out of my paycheck for health insurance. I already have over $100 a month of medical costs that insurance doesn't cover, and as someone who makes just over the Medicaid li limit, I can't afford to lose it. Cheaper public market plans would also be expensive for me because they don't fully cover essential services like mental health and eye care, both of which I rely on daily. Why are these the options we're left with when hospital CEOs and insurance companies are swimming in money? You know what the right thing is, Governor Scott. Don't cut anyone off of Medicaid and instead expand it so that everyone in Vermont has free public health care. My name is Griffin Chumway. I'm going to be sharing stories by Skylar McGuire. I live in White River. Um, my name is Skylar and I live in Bristol. I work two part-time jo jobs and earn around 30k a year. My employer does not offer benefits. I've been suffering, suffering from debilitating anxiety attacks as the Medicaid cutoff approaches. My chronic health conditions are becoming worse from the stress of losing access to my doctors. All of this is happening because I work and will make too much for Medicaid despite living paycheck to paycheck. Losing my Medicaid will hinder my ability to climb out of poverty. There is no logic in this system, and I am traumatized from having to wonder what parts of my body I'll need to, ne need to neglect to afford to live in this state, especially during times of high inflation and a housing crisis. Vermont Health Connect and their plans, including tax credits or subsidies, provide zero respite in actuality. It's time to put people over profits. Healthcare is a human right. Expand Medicaid. Oh, thank you. We're going to leave these petitions here with you. Certainly. Each one is a demand by the constituent, governor Scott's constituents. Certainly. To stop this insanity and to put people first. Well, it sounds like you have legitimate concerns, folks. So we'll make sure they get these. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank right. you. Thank You're very welcome. Stop the cuts. Healthcare for us all. Yeah. 
Squeeze, squeeze in, everybody. Yeah. Act like we're a choir. <laughs> one, two, oh, one, two, three, four. Away down to the governor's house, and I took, took back what they stole from me. Took back, took back my dignity. Took back my humanity. I went down to the governor's house, and I. I took back what you stole from me. Took it back. I took back my dignity. I took it back. I took back my humanity. And now it's under my feet. Where? Under my feet. Where? Under my feet. Where? Under my feet. They're gonna let no system walk all over me. I went down to the hospital and I. I took back what they stole from me. Took it back. I took back my dignity. Took it back. I took back my humanity. I went down to the hospital and I, I took back what they stole from me. Took it back. I took back my dignity. Took it back. I took back my humanity. And now it's under my feet. Where? Under my feet. Where? Under my feet, so under my feet, I'm gonna let no system walk all over me. <laughs>